All right, before we begin, I wanted to preface this video by saying that I do take suggestions very seriously, so thank you the architect killer for this idea. At first I was like, man, screw this guy. I'm gonna just delete his comment and take the idea for myself, but I guess I have a conscience. So, uh, to counter roamers, just, just pick Jackal. That's it. You crazy mother Alright, I'm just playing. It's not quite as easy as picking Jackal. Although, if you are having trouble with roamers, you should be taking Jackal anyways. He's not the only operator that counters roamers. And I wouldn't say other operators necessarily counter roamers, but there are some strategies and some tips and tricks and playstyles you can use to deal with them more effectively. And as with anything in Siege, the first thing starts with drone placement and how to actually use your drone properly. First things first, you gotta hide your drone, and that means hiding the red light. Honestly, half the time I don't even see drones unless I see the red light. So when your drone is in the position that you want it to be in, just turn it around during preparation phase. You're gonna like turn it around and make it stand in a corner or against the wall and like put a dunce cap on it and then have everyone laughing at them and just like repressed memories. And once preparation phase is over, you basically just turn it around and face it the way you want to face it. Aside from actually hiding a drone like out of sight, this is the best way to hide your drone. And to make sure your drone stays hidden during preparation phase, here's what you're gonna do. You're going to not tag. No, for real. Do not tag. Just like don't, just don't fucking do it. Most people are only gonna start looking for a drone after they've been tagged. Seriously, tagging a bunch during preparation phase is like trying to get through the airport security with scissors. You're gonna get molested. The only time you should be tagging is when you want the defender to know that you can see them. It's like when you want them to move or you're baiting them into a trap. Or like the rounds ending and you want your teammates to know where to shoot. And the other time you should tag is if you're not getting enough kills and you need more points to get MVP. Lastly, I'll give you an example split of what each drone on your team should be doing. Remember, the goals of droning is finding out who the defenders are, seeing what their defense strategy looks like, and then seeing where the defenders are. Based on a coordinated five-man team, one or two of your drones should be in the room. One drone should follow roamers but stay hidden. Another drone should go to common peak spots and hiding spots. And the last drone should float around and fill in any gaps. Alright, so now we know who the roamers are and where they are. Let's talk about some strategies and some tips and tricks that we can actually use to counter them. I'm going to start with operator choice because there are some operators that excel at countering roamers, whereas others do not. One speed operators tend to have a harder time with roamers because they can't deal with flanking as well as other operators can. Anyways, here are four operators that can hold their own against roamers while still being useful just in general. These operators are Twitch, Capitao, Hibana, and Thermite. Now, I realize what people are going to say. Farmer Dills, there are so many other operators you can use. And I totally agree with you. For example, IQ counters Pulse pretty heavily. But before you guys hurt my feelings in the comments, let me tell you why I chose these operators. Twitch's gadget is really good for softening up roamers and is useful in the objective as well. Also, you can use her drone to get a roamer to abandon their position. This is huge because it pushes them to make the first move, which usually puts them at a disadvantage. Capitao can trap someone in a room or keep someone out of a room, and he has a claymore in his kit. Hibana and Thermite I choose for the same reasons. They have good guns, they come with claymores, and they can push the objective effectively. Next, I did mention claymores a lot and it's important to know how to use them properly. For example, let's say that objective is in penthouse on coastline. This is the door that you're going to have to push through and the door to your right is where the roamer is going to push you from. So this is the door you should cover with your claymore, right? Nope. You're wrong. Let's say you put a claymore right there. The roamer can still peek the door safely and kill you. They literally don't have to worry about the claymore at all because, you know, bullets have range. In this specific scenario, this is the door you would cover with your claymore. Remember, the point of claymores is to slow down flankers or kill them outright. They also take like a moment to activate, so plan accordingly. Now let's say hypothetically that you know who the roamer is, you know where they are, and you are the person on your team who deals with roamers. The roamer dealer with her. The person who deals with roamers. Fuck, I don't know, the guy who kills roamers. Anyways, your strategy to deal with this roamer isn't really to kill them. I mean, killing them is good, don't get me wrong, like point your shooty end at them. But the roamer is trying to run down the clock and keep you busy. And if you're the designated person to kill roamers, you can just keep them busy. If you can keep the roamer trapped while the rest of your team pushes the objective and cleans house, there is no reason you should risk a firefight with them. 
keep the roamer trapped with like claymores or Cappy's gadget and you basically just wait for them to make a move. So while they're sitting there thinking, oh I'm wasting this guy's time, really you're just using that to your advantage. <laughs> Mindfuck. Anyways, hopefully this tips and tricks video helps you counter roamers properly. I know for sure that I've had trouble with roamers in the past and it's taken a lot of trial and error to learn how to deal with them. I also wanted to say thank you so much for 5,000 subs. Just last month I was celebrating having 100 subs. Like that's insane. So thanks again and give me more. You crazy mother-